You are watching WCSD from the Callaway County School District. What's up, Lakers? Welcome back to Laker TV. Today we'll take a look into what caffeine is doing to teens, something one of our foreign exchange students are into, and a recap of our assembly from last week regarding the Green Dot program. All of that and more on Laker TV. Welcome, Callaway. I'm Jillian Hackthorn. <laughs> and I'm Elena Williams for Laker TV. So how's it feel being up here anchoring? Well, my mom told me not to talk to strangers, but here I am talking to more than just Callaway County students. Fair enough, but what she doesn't know doesn't kill her, am I right? <laughs> am I right? <laughs> Speaking of which, if you happen to miss the show or would like to share that moment with your friend, family members and friends, you can find us on YouTube, on YouTube at CallawayCounty.com. Class officer elections were held this week at CCHS. Congrats to all officers that were announced Wednesday. I'm sure you'll do a really awesome job, but we'd really especially like to give congrats to the senior class who have chosen their lifelong representatives. Hopefully, you've chosen strong leaders to take care of your classes, money, and planning events. Bella certainly has it work out, cut out for him. A bystander is a present during 60% of violent crimes, but only intervenes 15% of the time. Considering the statistic, the nationwide program Green Dot was introduced to CCHS students and staff Friday, September 8th in a school-wide assembly. Local coordinator Jen Kassar describes symbolic red dots and green dots. One red dot symbolizes one instance where someone chose to hurt someone else. A single red dot is a small moment that could affect a person forever. Kassar stated the end goal is spread green dots across the map. A green dot is also a small moment in time, but it's that small moment when somebody makes the choice to try and stop a red dot from happening. The choice to try and keep someone else safe. Here's another disturbing fact that for you. One in five high school girls and one in ten high school boys report experiencing physical violence from a dating partner in the past year. As CCHS continues to learn more about Green Dot, students will help implement the program by stepping the widespread of red dots throughout Callaway County High School. If you watch the world news, you are aware that Venezuelan government is attempting to change the Constitution. This infuriates the people of Venezuela, causing them to riot in the streets and destroy their own country through retaliation. This is something American teens don't have to go through, but one of our foreign exchange students have witnessed this, these events firsthand. Reporters Kenna Frederick and Mallory Halaba show us one Laker finds peace in the tragedies through her love of photography. Well, I love to take pictures of people and make photo shoots because I love how um, use the sun and how um, and tell the people how pose. Nicole Marin from Venezuela has been interested in photography for five years. This hobby is something she wants to continue in the future. Really, I want to study graphic design, but this is like a compliment. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think that I'm going to use a lot of the, pho the photography in my future. Nicole said that there are two seasons in Venezuela. There are six months of rain and six months of summer. Most of her photo shoots take place in the sunshine or in front of a plain background. I love to take pictures in a white background and black background, but I know, I, I don't know, I only love to take pictures everywhere, so I can take pictures outside, inside. After I make the photo shoots, I edit my pictures. And I put uh, in the right uh, down head, head, I put my name, um, maybe two hours made, making that, and another two, three hours taking the pictures. I edit uh, the light when the sun is not good, and uh, the face, if you don't like something in your face, or you have something that you don't like, I can edit that. My mom teach me, but the most of the things that I know, I know by myself. If the people let me, I'm going to take pictures of everything. No pet. 
才知赖啊！要拍啥赖啊？of DC, Marvel, or superhero movies, then you might enjoy going to a Comic-Con event. We understand that some of our own CCHS students attended a Comic-Con last weekend and brought back for us a little video footage. Here's a glimpse of what they experienced. Around 5,000 people attended Comic-Con, held at the Music City Center in downtown Nashville. Comic-Con is a convention for people who like TV, movies, video games, and comic books. This year, some of the people who attended were Stan Lee, Dean Cain, and Val Kilmer. If you didn't get a chance to check it out this year, you can next year. For more information, you can go to wizardworld.com slash comic-con slash Nashville. This week on Weird News, we give you a look at how you can temporarily have a fish without it dying, a man who took nine-inch nails to a whole nother level, and a date that went upside down. Welcome back to Weird News, Lakers. This week we are joined with some abnormally weird news today. Brace yourselves. This first story is the least of the weird we have. When staying in hotel rooms by yourself, it can be a bit lonely. For me, that's completely fine. The less human interaction, the better. But if you would like some company, a hotel in Belgium offers you a fish for just about $4 a night. How nice! You can do just about anything with them. You could watch TV, play board game, and you can't do that. You could cuddle with them. No, you can't do that either. Fish will die. I mean, unless you want to cuddle a fishbowl. Well, I know one thing you can definitely do with them. You can vent to them about how hard your day has been, and they won't tell a single soul or complain about you complaining. That's a definite plus. But there is not a single plus with this next story. A Wisconsin man shot himself in the chest with a nail gun. He said he could see the nail moving with every heartbeat. But he did not. He did have enough common sense to pull the nail out himself. When he finally talked to his wife, she asked for an explanation. But all he did was shrug and say, "Oops." The only thing that really concerned the man was just that he wouldn't make it home until late, and he knew he couldn't get anything done. Like, dude, you have a nail basically in your heart. Go to a hospital, get that thing checked out, and you can get stuff done when you aren't less than an inch away from dying. Okay, sound good? Fantastic. This story is anything but fantastic. When you go on dates, some minor things might go wrong, like bad hair or makeup looks bad, etc. I believe this di this Tinder date takes the cake for one of the worst dates in history. Basically, the date start started out well, and then the man and the woman went back to the guy's place for a bottle of wine and a Scientology documentary. Okay. And his date had to use the restroom, and then came out with a panicked look in her eye. She apparently had to poo, but the toilet wouldn't flush, and she panicked and reached in the toilet bowl, wrapped it in tissue paper, and threw it out the window. But it got stuck between the two pieces of glass that made up the window. So the woman thought that she could get it. So the guy held her legs as she went upside down, trying to retrieve her own feces, and got stuck. Long story short, called 911, broke window, blah blah blah, now has a GoFundMe to get a new window so that his landlord will not kill him. Oh, and they have seen each other again for another date, apparently. I mean, to each their own, my dudes. That is all we have for Win News this week. I'm Tristan Nance for Laker TV. Are you addicted to a psychoactive drug? Adolescents are the number one growing consumers of caffeinated beverages. 83% of teens regularly consume caffeine, according to Medical News Today. Have you ever considered the effects of this drug can have on your body? We sent reporters Emily McIntosh and Brianna Lockwood to get the buzz. Do you depend on caffeine to get through your day? Coffee, tea, and even chocolate contains caffeine. Could this caffeine intake lead to an addiction? Me, uh, I drink uh, at least like maybe two to three cans of soda a day. Caffeine is brain fuel. It can help you feel more awake and energized, but what is a safe amount? Adults can safely consume 200 to 300 milligrams, or two to four cups of coffee. But what happens when you take more than that? Are you actually aware of the caffeine content when you are drinking that monster? One can of Coke has 34 milligrams of caffeine. One McDonald's sweet tea has 100 milligrams of caffeine. One Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee has 297 milligrams of caffeine. 
Fun fact, there is a super unhealthy energy drink called Rage Inferno, and it has 375 milligrams of caffeine in just 24 ounces. That's insane! After you pass the safe limits of caffeine, you may experience negative effects of this hyper drug. Now, this is obvious, but clearly caffeine has an effect on your sleep cycles. Can you overdose on caffeine? Yes! Will you die? Probably not. However, you may experience some serious issues. Caffeine withdrawal. Side effects may include fast heartbeat, nausea, headache, difficulty breathing, muscle tremors, confusion, hallucinations, dehydration, increased urination, constipation, lack of concentration, dizziness, insomnia, anxiety, and depression. Surely teens here at CCHS are not abusing enough caffeine to really feel these effects, right? Over the weekend, I drank approximately five monsters. It, on average, like one every two days, just because I don't get to go every day. Um, I cannot start my day without a cup of coffee. Drink a lot of coffees and monster. Yes, like, every day. Every day? Yeah, every day. Every day. Maybe caffeine intake is a bigger problem than we previously thought. While we know that this is not going to stop your caffeine consumption, we at least hope you will be a little more informed about what you are putting into your body. Enjoy that caffeine buzz while it lasts. For Laker TV, I'm Emily McIntosh. So, Jill, you clearly need your caffeine. How often do you have a monster? A lot, like every day, and it's always Red Bull and five hour put together. <laughs> Here's a quick note for you tennis players. Coach Price says that there will be open courts for tennis on Monday from 3.15 to 5 o'clock. Anybody interested in learning or playing is encouraged to come out for open courts. Well, I guess that's it. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Laker TV. Don't forget to check out our social media. Till next time, I'm Elena Williams. And I'm Jillian Hackathorn. And as always, keep, keep crushing, crushing it, Callaway. Callaway.